the position where two bones are met is called joint joint is the position where two bones are articulate joint tell us about uh, how bones can move and its freedom of motion and its limitation today we have to learn very important joint called as synovial joint my name is professor g m bagar head of department punjab group of colleges sialkot so let's have a start we have draw a joint which is called as synovial joint i look here here is a bone and uh, it is one bone and here is another bone synovial joint have three basic needs or requirement the to be have a synovial joint there should be the bones forming synovial joints will have hyaline cartilage it is point 1 uh, look here here is our bone and at this bone at both proximities there is present hyaline cartilage hyaline cartilage is the cartilage which is just like a glass it is smooth there is no penetration of blood and nerves so far by movement there is no any sort of friction and any sense of pain second point synovial joints always enclosed by a cavity here is a capsular cavity basically it is made up of uh, cartilage and uh, it make a cavity and third one very important in the cavity there is present a fluid which is called as synovial fluid so third important thing to become a synovial joint there should be a fluid this fluid is called as synovial fluid synovial fluid provide fluidity and reduce the friction between the joint joints are of different types they might be movable slightly movable or immovable for example when we have a glass on our elbow it is movable joint it move up and down but when we have look on our skull there are present in cranium eight bones and these eight bones there is a not a single bone which is immovable so there is present movable bones and immovable bones and in between there there is a slightly movable bone just we have a take a deep breath our ribs little slightly move so there are three types of bones on the basis of their movement but today we learn about the synovial joint synovial joints are the joints where bones have the cartilage and it is called as hyaline cartilage there is present a capsule this capsule is called as joint cavity and within a joint cavity there is present a fluid which is called as synovial fluid synovial joints are of six types and these six types are s synovial joints are synovial joints are of six types hinge joint ball and socket joint ellipsoid joint saddle joint plane joint and pivot joint uh hum inko one by one dekhte hain first of all there is a hinge joint hinge joint is present in our elbow it give us uh, movement only in two directions for example when we flex our elbow on arm on elbow there is a single direction of movement upward and downward so there is a simple movement in case of uh, hinge joint 1 2 1 2 so uh, it is remain in a single axis 
it is a hinge joint hinge is basically a uh, structure used in doors for closing and opening of doors uh, it holds the door with its basic framework it is a hinge and its movement in only in one axis so in our elbow joint and our knee joint are the example of the hinge joints other joint is a ball and socket joint it is a very important joint it is uh, you we can say it is the champion of all the joints because it provides us the freedom of the movement in all axis here is ball and socket joint like in our shoulder and in our hips it provides us the freedom to move our arm in multi directions up down in this direction in this direction as well as in this direction so it provides the liberty to movement of the uh, arm it is ball and socket joint it is also present uh, in our hips uh, but there is a little uh, problem in layman like us but gymnast move in all the direction it is a ball and socket joint it is also a type of synovial joint ellipsoid joint is also very similar to ball and socket joint and here is also there is a socket and a ball like structure but actually it is a multi stage joint for example in our wrist here is present radiocarpal joint and we can move our uh, arm in upward downward upward downward in multi direction so it is the basically a uh, ellipsoid joint it is also a type of hinge joint and third one is a saddle joint a saddle joint is a four types of our joint and a single bone possess two basic structure convex as well as concave so they possess convex and concave structure simultaneously uh, for example uh, the joint in our metacarpals and uh, carpals for example in this thumb look this it is saddle saddle actually a structure which is used in horse riding jisko hum urdu mein kaathi kehte hain jiske upar hum baithte hain gursuar to uski leg us saddle ke andar hoti hai saddle uski legs ke andar hota hai ab ye movement again it is a multidirectional movement like in metacarpals and carpals so it like my thumb it move in all direction uh, it is called as the a uh, saddle joint now there is a uh, plane joint it's called gliding joint we get it is very simple joint it is uh, just two plane surfaces on each other uh, they can move on each other or they can move as rotational movement so such a uh, joint is called as uh, plane or gliding joint these gliding joint are present in our carpals between carpals and between tarsals and at the last but not least very interesting pivot joint uh, for example uh, this is ball and socket joint it move our arm in directions it is hinge joint and uh, this one is called as ellipsoid joint and what about this twist we twist uh, like this this twist is due to pivot joint pivot joint is also in one direction and in one axis but in a long axis so jo hamari uh, radius aur ulna ki movement hai actually radius move on the ulna it is present double pivot here is also pivot here is also pivot and it move in this direction it is called as pivot joint so these are all about the types of joints in our body my name is professor gm babar head of department punjab group of college sialkot aapki samaaton ka bahut shukriya assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh